Okay, we're back in the parking lot with some cones set up, and you're watching Boots and Jeans Riders. My name is Rich. Welcome to the channel. Today, I want to go over sharp turns, basically right turns. We're going to do some left turns also. Right turns, because what we continuously see, especially when we're riding throughout the country, it's not just in one location. Riders making right turns and going wide either hitting the double yellow line, crossing the double yellow line, and that is extremely dangerous, especially if you panic when traffic is coming in your direction. So what we're gonna do, you can see I have cone pattern set up. It's a T-section, right and left sharp turns. We've done a video like this before, but I wanna explain a little bit more of what road position is. And any pattern we do, we talk about road position. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you'll be notified when we do more pattern videos because we've got a lot coming up. But this one is more along the safety. You know, you coming up, you're making that right turn, whether you're in motion or from a stop, riders throttle too much, not using their rear brakes, not in a friction zone, going over the line into oncoming traffic, especially, especially when you're making a right turn going uphill from a stop. We see it all the time. So we're gonna talk about road position. Now, nothing's changed. All the elements you use, friction zone, steady throttle, covering the rear brake, and the number one rule of motorcycle, look where you wanna go. They all supply, applies. If you take one of those away, then you're probably gonna have some problems. It's like this. I think back when one of my mentors told me this. He referenced to a cake. Pick any cake you like. Chocolate cake, or you can use a pie, it doesn't matter. Any cake you want. Lemon cake, I love lemon, but I'm gonna use chocolate. This is what he said. He says, the recipe to success is following all the ingredients. No different out here. So an example is this. He said, if I bake a chocolate cake, and I give you that cake and you taste it and you say, Rich, this is the best cake I ever had. Best chocolate cake I ever had. Can I get the recipe? I say, sure. I give you the recipe. You go home, you look at the recipe. You've been about to pick this best chocolate cake you ever had in your life. And my recipe calls for four eggs, yolk and all, and a whole cup of milk, whole milk, among other things. And you say, you know what? I'm gonna only use one egg instead of four. And I'm gonna use a half a cup of milk. You bake it, smell delicious, come out good, everything. You cut it, you eat it. You say, wait a minute, something wrong. That's the ingredients I was talking about. You left out the ingredients. Maybe you left out the friction zone. Maybe you left out the number one ruling motorcycle. You didn't look where you wanna go. Same thing with that chocolate cake. I say, hey, Go over what you've done. And I stop you right at the beginning because you say I use one egg. Well, the recipe called for four eggs. Why would you take something away? This is what I'm talking about. If you take away one of the elements when you're riding in a friction zone, you got to master that friction zone. You take power away from the rear wheel, you're going to miss something. You fail to look where you want to go, you may overshoot your turn. I mean, all these things come into play. You don't control your speed with the rear brake and the friction zone. You may go too fast and still overshoot your turn. You kill all the power, you look down, you may fall. And this is what we've been seeing when we're riding throughout the country. I mean, nothing's changed. Once you get in that advanced slow riding level, you got to practice. And everybody always say practice, practice, practice. And they mean it. And one thing about practice, let me run this by you in case you haven't heard me say it before. Practice, it don't make perfect. Practice brings progress. You watching your progress grow up, you start to progress through the whole thing, you should continue to practice. As well as I think I am, I learn from everybody. If somebody say, hey Rich, try this way and it works and it's better, I am gonna bring it to you. I'm gonna share all my experience, my training, my knowledge to you. And I always talk about the three C's, command, control, confidence. So when I had one practice session, I had to explain what I was talking about because I, obviously I never explained it enough. Command, you are dedicated. You're in command of what you do, your actions. 
and you're in command of your bike. Control, all the recipes to successful riding. Friction zone riding, that's you can control your bike. And command and control equals confidence. And when you're a confidence rider, you're a safe rider, and when you're a safe rider, you will have way more fun. Now today, we're gonna be riding big easy, as always, the big gold wing, doing these turns. I'm gonna show you a couple of things. I'm gonna show you the turn from a stop. I'm gonna show you a turn from motion. I'm gonna show you an easy way from an angle. And then we're gonna get into how the real streaks look to make it easier. However, before we get into that, I would suggest you always, always practice on a sharp 90 degree angle. It will help you out pulling into parking spaces when you're using road position. And this is all about road position. And everything you do, every maneuver that you make, slow or fast, is all about road position. Keep that in mind. So what I'm gonna do is show you, I have a T-section. Now, I'm using the larger cones for a reason. There's a thing that we like to talk about, it's called rear wheel cheat, where your front wheel will clear that cone but if you not have good roll position, then the rear wheel will hit the cone. And use the cone as anything, a curb, a pole, whichever you want to use it in. So you got to have good roll position. And on sharp turns, you have to lean that bike a little bit. You don't have to lean it all the time, depending on how big the turn is. Here, we put our patterns six feet into six feet. The reason we do six into six, because throughout the United States, the average lane or is mandated that the lanes are 12 feet. All we done was cut it in half. Nothing strangers, cut it in half. And if you could turn six into six, there's no way you should be going out to the 12 foot line. There's no way you should go over into oncoming traffic. It's not a really a problem turning the left because the curve left is way over there. Even though we may do some left turns here, but to the right, your curve is right there. So if you make that sharp right turn, you look exactly where you want to go. You should no way or know how go into that lane and if I could do it on a big bike like a gold wing you should not have a problem on any bike and all the things apply all the recipes the recipes to successful slow riding is all supply apply do not take any of that away maintain the friction zone so I'm gonna start off on a big easy and show you exactly what I'm talking about I get my helmet on I always believe in all the gear all the time, and I've said it time and time again. If my bike go down, normally I just stand on and step off the bike. But if it go down and I fall, I want to be geared up. Safety first. Okay, now that I'm all geared up, I'm going to talk about road position. I'm going to walk through a couple of things first. And that is rear wheel cheat. And, you know, in the trucking world, they call it off track. If I'm making that right turn and my front wheel is here in a trucking world, you go like this and your rear wheel is off track and it will run over that cone right there or that curve. So what I want to be is not here. Here is OK. You can go six to the six here, but you really have to have it dialed in. Roll position is you want to get all the way over here. It's no different than making a left U-turn. When you're making a left U-turn, you want to get all the way to your right in your road position. So I'm making a right sharp turn. My road position is here. If I'm going into a parking space, which we know is nine feet, and this is six, so I should be able to make that. As I'm coming, I look. I'm not looking down at the cone, not even worried about it. I look exactly where I want to go. I look, I'm, I'm using all the recipes of successful riding. Friction zone, steady throttle, rear brake, looking where I want to go. And I look and I go all the way over here using all my real estate as far as possible. Come to a stop if I was pulling in a parking space. Let's go over it again. Now, if we're just riding and we're not pulling into the parking space, you're making a turn on the street. Same thing apply. And I'm going to show you, we're going to change this also. We're going to change that and show you how easy it becomes. You're riding. Same thing apply. Before I even get here, I'm looking where I want to go. I turn and I throttle through. You always throttle through on the street. So if you're in a parking lot and have a parking lot as big as this lot, then you want to throttle through 
like you're riding. If you don't have a parking lot as big as this, it doesn't matter. The throttle to at least get into second gear before you go. Because on the street, unless you plan on parking, when you turn it, you're not going slow. <sighs> throttle true. Ride and practice the same. Practice like you intend on riding. Now, we may do some left turns also. But think about it. When you're on the street, there's no corner right here. This will help you get into parking spaces also if you're using proper road position. But on the street, the corner is normally way down there, so you not, don't have that problem of running in any, any, into anything. The only problem you may have when doing a left turn is throttling too much and going out too wide because you looked at the curve, you didn't look where you want to go, you probably wasn't in a friction zone, you took three eggs away from that chocolate cake recipe, and you overshot your turn. So let me get on the bike right now, and we're going to go through this real quick. Okay, now I'm on the bike. First thing I'm going to do is do it from a rolling position. Then we're going to do it from a couple of stops position. So I'm going to roll right here, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my roll position over to the right and show you that my front wheel will clear that cone, but the rear wheel will not. Or even my saddlebag may hit it. So I'm in bad road position right now where I should be over here. And I'm using this if I, as if I'm pulling into a parking space or the parking lot. So I'm here, I'm looking where I want to go. I'm in a friction zone, I'm turning. And did I hit that cone? <laughs> well, apparently I didn't. <laughs> so like I say, sometimes you can make the turn, but you really don't want to be too, yes I did, I can see it move, it's off. I'm going to do it to the left with bad roll position. Too close, looking, turning. Oh man, I didn't hit that cone either. <laughs> it take away my theory. <laughs> okay, now this is why I continue to practice. I am sure bad roll position, but I'm not hitting the cone. But this is the perfect roll position. I'm going to turn right. And I'm going to slow down and stop as a, if I'm pulling into a parking space. So I'm going to ride in a friction zone. I'm going to throttle up. Steady throttle. My foot is on the rear brake. And I'm going to look where I want to go way before I even reach that cone. There's no need for me to look down at that cone up there. No need for me to look down at it. So here I go. Good roll position. Over to the left. Look at where I want to go, make my turn, pull in my parking space, and stop. Okay, that's from a roll. Now, I always say, practice like you intend on riding. So now, this is from the same direction. We're going to go do a right turn. Now, this is six and a six. Like I say, they are split in the half because of the roads in the United States, or 12 feet. So if I go past the six, it's no big deal. At least I'm not going 12. But you want to practice and get that practice like you intended on riding. Okay, now we're going to do it from a rolling. As if you're rolling and not going to do a stop, practice like you intend on riding. So when you're rolling, you're going to throttle out. You're not going to stop. We must have blew one of my cones out. So what I'm going to do is this is a uncontrolled intersection An uncontrolled intersection means there's no signal no stop sign and not a blind intersection you can see 300 in all directions so it's not a blind intersection you want to slow down at a proper speed of course and then when you complete your turn throttle through here we go coming up proper speed looking where i want to go make my turn throttle through and then what I like to do, I'm turning back around because I know I'm out of camera range. I like to do coming back the opposite way also. Now coming back this way, I'm going left. So I'm going to be on, my cones are crooked. I'm going to be on the right side and they make that left turn. Look where I want to go. Throttle through. Ride and practice the exact same way. So you practice like you intend on riding. Okay, now we're going to do it going to the left where I'm going to have my roll position to the right everything remains the same i'm going to look way before i even get close to that turn look at where i want to go make my turn throttle through okay coming back and now we're going to do it from a stopped position and show you how easy it is so let's do it from a stop position even when you do a stop position on the street and i'm going to change the cone to show you 
I'm right here. I'm waiting for a car to back out, so I want to get that spot. So I'm using road position. Obviously, these lanes in the parking lot are nine feet. So if you do it in six feet, you are in perfect position. So here we go. I'm looking where I want to go. I'm about to go into the friction zone. I'm throttling up. Foot is on the rear brake. My head is looking where I want to go. My foot will lift up immediately. No dragging, immediately turn into my parking space from a stop position and I am set so let's go do it again now this second one I'm going to show you roll position and we do it on a slant to make it easy especially if you fear leaning your bike my foot just hit the cone so I was slanted my bike a little bit and now when I make this turn I might have to go out a little further but I won't have to leave my bike as much same thing look where I want to go I'm gonna enter the friction zone first I'm gonna throttle up foot is on the rear brake left foot come up immediately throttle through and park my bike now obviously I said you practice like you intend on riding so if you are on the street which I'm about to do a left turn then you want to throttle through it throttle through go so now the last part I want you to pay attention to this and this is very very important because I say always always practice the 90 always practice the 90 degree turn but think about it if you're on the street riding there's no turns like this well I haven't seen any if you've seen any let me know so what we're gonna do is turn this into a real curve like what you would ride out on the street now we're still keeping that six feet so it's no different so watch this this way has become extremely easy so we get here if I were to lock my wheel, and none of this require wheel locks, if I were to lock my wheel, that's very less leaning I have to do. But if you was in a car, and most of us when we get in the car, we're on an angle already. We're on like this. I don't know too many people, well I don't know anybody to tell you the truth, that get in the car about to make a right turn and they face forward prior to making that right turn. Obviously, parking space is a whole different story. But if you're on the street, just as if you was in a vehicle, you go on an angle. Now, I don't have to worry about this because the curve is way out of the way. Look how much room I have to play with. So all I do, same thing. Look where I want to go. Foot on a real brake. I'm already in first gear. Look where I want to go. And I really don't have to lean. I could just ride through this. Look all the way down there. I do not need to look over at that six feet. I do not need to look over to, uh, to the 12 feet into oncoming traffic look where I want to go but obviously you want to do everything safe nothing to the right now you still want to look <laughs> nothing to the left I'm sorry nothing to the left but you still want to look over to the right just in case something in front of you stop so I'm looking to my left it's all clear back to my right throttle up friction zone lift my foot no leaning at all and obviously I would not hit the curve because it's actually <laughs> a curve so we're gonna do it going at speed like we're going from a coming into an intersection that's uh, not control uh, uncontrolled intersection and as I come down here I can see nothing coming nothing coming slow down appropriate speed very little leaning throttle through that is just that simple Okay, that's all we have for today. So go out there and really dial in those right turns. Left turns, most people are okay. But dial in those right turns, you will never go over the double yellow line again into oncoming traffic, which is extremely, extremely dangerous. And the more you practice, the more safe you will be, the more fun you will have. And you'll be able to ride your big boy like Big Easy. Oh my goodness. Better than you ever done before. And then once you finish practice, pull them into reality. When you go to that curve, get on an angle and watch how easy it is to go. Now, if you're coming up and have to make a right turn, you should do it with ease. That's all I have for today. So remember, subscribe to the channel. 
hit that notification bell so when we start doing more parking lot videos you will be notified become triple c's command control confidence rider but if y'all there riding remember ride long ride hard ride strong but most importantly ride safe for boosting jeans riders i'm rich and i'm out peace